In the port of Rotterdam, energy is everywhere. It is being shipped, stored, traded, processed and often being shipped again. From oil, gas, coal, biomass to solar and wind power. Part of the energy used in the port is processed into fuels, chemical products, industrial gases, electricity, etc. Products we all use on a daily basis. But not without a cost. The port's industrial cluster produces almost one-fifth of the Dutch CO2 emissions. To be able to comply with the Paris Climate Agreement, these emissions will need to reduce to almost zero by 2050. Something we call deep decarbonisation. Truly a grand challenge, which is why the Port of Rotterdam Authority commissioned the Wuppertal Research Institute to investigate how we can reduce the port's carbon emissions drastically while continuing to produce the products that society demands. The research revealed three transitional paths we could follow to achieve the objectives. One of the key aspects of the study is renewable electricity. By 2050 we will need up to 10 times the current electricity usage, but it needs to be fully renewable. That is 48 terawatt hours, the equivalent of 1500 offshore windmills of 8 megawatt each. This electricity will then not only power processes, but will also be used to produce new energy carriers such as hydrogen and feedstock that can be used to make products such as chemicals. The Port of Rotterdam Authority is committed to combating climate change and wants to play a leading role in the global energy transition. The reduction of CO2 emissions and the efficient use of raw and residual materials are key priorities for the Port Authority. Therefore, SDG 7 Clean and Affordable Energy is very important to us. We are contributing to this goal in a number of ways, such as investing in clean energy infrastructure, offering space for renewable energy and stimulating clean shipping traffic. It may sound simple, we just replace all fossil-based energy with solar panels and windmills, right? Unfortunately, it's not all that simple. So what then makes it so complex? There are a number of things that make the transition to clean and affordable energy in the port complex. First of all, as already mentioned, we need large quantities of renewable power. And whereas currently the port is an exporter of electricity, to arrive at these large amounts of renewable electricity, we will need to import the electricity. This can be from large offshore wind farms, neighboring countries, though all needing to tackle the same challenges, or from renewable rich regions, such as the Middle East or Northern Africa. Then there is pricing. At current prices, renewable energy is more expensive. Although prices are coming down, it remains a challenge to compete with fossil energy. Another challenge is the intermittency issue. What to do when the wind is not blowing or there is too little solar energy? There are a few potential solutions ranging from energy buffering, demand response, to energy storage through batteries or storage via fuels such as hydrogen. These solutions all need further development to become scalable and affordable. Also, not all processes are that easy to electrify, such as processes that require high temperature heat or long distance shipping. Then there are infrastructure requirements. The current electricity grid is not sufficient to handle large quantities. Besides that, new infrastructures are needed to transport the offshore wind onshore, as well as the smarter usage of energy via smart grids. This requires large investments, and these investments are time critical. Last but not least, we need to think of investment horizons. Companies tend to have investment cycles, say once every seven years, where they temporarily shut down all activities and update or reinvest in their plans. When changing processes, in this case to become fully electric, it seems most likely it will be done during such a reinvestment period. And therefore timing is crucial. Also, it tends to be hard to do on-site pilots because companies want to prevent downtimes as much as possible. Despite all this complexity, we aim to contribute to radical changes. We are part of the consortium 
that plans a wind farm island in the North Sea. This island can act as a hub for offshore wind farms from where power will be sent to the neighboring countries via large grids or via hydrogen production. Through this, the island contributes to both the scaling up and availability of renewable energy, as well as cost effectiveness. We believe that the energy transition is a long process that requires many steps by different parties willing to make the difference. That is why we work in public-private partnerships, or so-called coalitions of the willing, to create such change. As we say in Rotterdam, make it happen.